five bowls. So you're going to go to two for sure. Just have you been looking at any of this, or has Dad been looking at this, filling you in where you where you might be heading, or no? Um, you know, not really. Uh, obviously, we know this game is is big and can change a lot. Um, you know, we know it can help us out as far as where we could go. Um, you know, but we we don't really have any control on that. All we can control is uh, you know, what we do on Saturday. Um. You know, but but I know for sure that Saturday and what we do does make a difference. Um, you know, obviously we're bowl eligible at six wins, but uh, you know, getting the seventh win there is a big difference in that. And I think in, um, you know, in the the people who you know select teams for the bowl games, minds, I think it is a does make a big difference. Is there anybody on the team that like really follows it? Is there anybody that like really could tell you right now what the op what option? The you only I, I would bet the only not for sure, but I'd bet the only people who really follow it are. If anybody's from cities where the bowl games are at, okay. um, you know, they could probably be the ones that, that follow it. Um, you know, I know there's one in Jacksonville. Um, you know, I know Donovan's from Texas, right. so he probably pays attention to it. Uh, even, you know, a couple of guys from Michigan uh, for the one in Detroit. So I'm sure they probably follow it a little more. Um, you know, there's not any bowl game in Kansas City, so we won't be playing there regardless. Um, so I'm not following it too, too closely. Do you realize that if Michigan <clears throat> wins in some ways, can help you, you know, stuff like that. Not even. I know. I know that you know that there's different things because uh, Michigan plays Ohio State this week, right? right? Um, yeah, I know there's like different things of, of how it works. I remember that. I remember that for, from last year, just because of certain team won or we won this game or we beat Northwestern here, so that helped there. Um, you know, so there are certain things that make the difference. But uh, you know, if you got into that, there's probably a, a million things you could begin to look at that would change or not change your status, um, you know, for sure, so. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, exactly, exactly. There might be talk about Coach Zook, but he seems to be focused about what you guys can accomplish with this game. What is his message to you guys? Right, yeah, he has told us, you know, the the great things we can accomplish. And, you know, sometimes you forget that when you, um, you know, kind of uh, kind of had some down weeks. Um, you forget, you know, really how much this team can accomplish, not only – not only from this year, but you know, from a back-to-back -back year standpoint, um, you know, and it, and really, you know, you think of Illinois football, and that has a long history, um, you know, and there's great players that have come through here, but you know, we we do still have a chance to do some things this year, and especially with the two years combined, that I mean, not a lot of guys that have walked through, um, you know, walked through this locker room or through this place have, have ever done. Uh, so that's something that, you know, I guess you lose track of. Um, you know, just because you know you, you deal with some negative stuff and you know some things don't go your way on the field, um, you know you lose track of that of you know how great of accomplishments you still have out in front of you. Has he been really positive this week? Yeah, you know, um, in a way, uh, I, I think you know, especially in these last two years, uh, personally, I've seen you know, just a lot of changes in Coach Zook and you know just how positive he is how much he's able to just focus on, you know, the things that at hand and not not get distracted. And it helps a lot as a player. Uh just because I mean if you if your leader, if your basically your commander um is getting distracted with other stuff, it'd be hard as a player. But I mean it, it gives us a, a mindset, a new mindset when when you, you might want to feel like you can get distracted. Um, you know, when your coach is able to reel you back in and, and just the way he's positive with us, uh, you know, helps a lot as a player, definitely takes a lot of uh any burden, any pressure off of us. Um, I think the morale is good, um, and, and like I said, that helps a lot with with what our coaches have been doing, um, you know, and and just getting us going. Uh, the best thing about our team, and I've said it before, that you know we like being together, we like being in the locker room with each other, we enjoy uh, competing. Um, you know, we're, we're guys that you know we hang out. Uh, you know, not only when we're in the stadium, but outside, a lot of guys live together. Um, you know, so we just we just enjoy playing, enjoy getting getting opportunities to to compete. And we got another one this week. So, um, you know, when you got guys that get fired up, uh, you know, you might for sure there's guys that may be down. And um, you know, but I think when you step in the locker room and you know all of a sudden you, know, you got a guy that is fired up, ready to go for practice, that that gets you going because that's one of your best friends. Um, you know. Going out and competing with you each week, uh, so if he's he's getting ready and getting going, uh, why wouldn't you be? You know, Who is that guy? Uh, it, it's different guys. Uh, Lank's one of those guys for me for sure. We, we feed off each other. Ryan Lankford, um, Miles, 
uh, Miles and Riley, we're all in the quarterback room. So, you know, it helps out having those guys for all of us. I mean, you know, we all, we, we deal with a lot of stuff throughout uh, games, practice, and things like that. And when you're able to have three guys that, you know, somebody's getting ripped or whatever and somebody can lift them back up, um, you know, I, I think we can all help each other out at that. Um, I, I think the receivers are the same way. They kind of feed off of each other. Um, you know, they're all real good friends. They've, you know, this last couple of weeks, they've really, in practice, they've been working on their end zone celebrations um, a lot. So, you know, just things like that. You got to make, you know, make things fun. You know, things aren't always going to go your way. Things aren't always going to go um, the way you want it. But when you make things fun, uh, you know, it, you shouldn't deal with morale issues. What are some of the celebrations? Any good ones? Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. We always watch them on film, I guess, the day after because we're kind of going and don't really see it as much. But AJ and, and Darius are probably the best celebrators. They got a lot of different dances. I don't even know what to call them. Um, you know, but they they definitely have a lot of fun with it. Your offense seems to move better uh, with a hurry up style. Uh, what do you think the reason for that? Um, yeah, I think it gets uh, the defense backpedaling a little, gets them uh, kind of on their heels. Um, you know, that they're, they're not able to, you know, and when we do hurry up, it helps that we're able to kind of switch personnel groups. Um, and that's something that you don't see a lot of the times around the country. When, when teams do hurry up offenses, they usually keep the same amount of receivers, running backs, or tight ends in. Um, you know, so the defense isn't able to shift in and get their personnel groups in, the, um, you know, kind of the same as us. Um, you know, obviously we work on it a lot. It's something we always emphasize in practice. So I think we got so good at it throughout the last year and a half or so that um, – you know, I think we're, we really excel when we get into that mode. Um, you know, you're not thinking as much. You're just playing it's stuff you're used to. It's not it's not a lot of tricky stuff. Um, it's pretty base stuff. And, um, you know, honestly, throughout the country, most two-minute offenses really look the same, but it's just about executing, um, you know, playing fast, getting up, getting lined up, um, and really wearing the defense out. I imagine if you're having a little bit of success moving the chains, it, it also makes you feel like the momentum is going your way. Right? You're right. Um, you know, when, when you're going in that fast pace and you get a couple of first downs, it, it feels like things are really going. Um, and, you know, there hasn't been much break, and especially if you get a couple of big plays in there, um, it really helps out and, and definitely gets some momentum going. And, and like I said, it really gets the defense um, on their heels. Um, and when you're able to do that in any type of way as an offense, that's that's how you want to attack. Um, you know, we want to attack them the best way we can, so that, that's been helping us. Has <coughs> Miles talked to you about Coach Kill? Uh, not really. I know. You know, we talked last year. Um, we, we messed with Miles last year because he was committed to Northern Northern for a while, um, and obviously was co close with that coaching staff. Um, but you know, I think. Um, a lot of guys know that you know he, he's a good coach. Uh, you know, has done done some great things just just with you know the teams he's had, and you know now he's up at at a higher level. Um, you know, so you're definitely happy for a coach like that. Um, happy for the uh, you know j just just where he's gotten to through hard work and things like that. But you know he's a good coach, and uh, I think we knew it last year when we played Northern. Uh, that was a sound a sound team as we played all year. Um, you know, and they might not have had the best athletes that, you know, some of the teams played, some of the teams we played last year, but they were as sound as it got. Um, you know, so I, I think he does a good job. His staff does a good job of getting their guys coached up. Do you take anything from that NIU game into this? Yeah, game? yeah, we do. Um, we definitely looked at the tape. Um, that, that's definitely one of our, you know, we always have key games that we break down and it's either, you know, similar offenses to us or most recent games and, and things like that. But, you know, that's definitely one of the the games that we focused on breaking down just because, um, you know, obviously it's, it is the same coaching staff and, you know, whole new players and things like that. But um, see how they kind of try to take things away from us. Um, last year they really did a good job in the second half, especially of kind of slowing us down. Um, so we kind of try to see what they did to try to slow us down. And obviously we were, we were a whole lot different last year, but we still do run some of the same stuff. And I'm sure they'll still try to tag it the same way. Anything else for Nathan? Anything from the phone lines? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you, guys.